As you can see by the thumbnail, this man legit wears his wife's dresses to drive his uh, Lycra, I mean, my crab, what was it called, in Ibadan, the cab, the taxi cab used in Ibadan. He legit wears his wife's dresses to drive it. Let me know in the comment section if if you see someone, you know, a man for that matter, wearing a woman's dress, would you still enter his cab? Would you still want to? For me, I would not be caught dead in that cab unless I did not see him before entering. But nah, uh, 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 uh. there must be a reason for this, you know. Why would you start all of a sudden, you know, start wearing women's dresses to drive your cab if you're not using it for something? Like, first of all, you even think of the fact that you become a laughing stock amongst your friends. Like, <laughs> I don't know. But you guys, let me know in the comment section. Do you also think that this is nothing beyond the ordinary? Because to me, I feel that there's more to this story. There is a reason this man is wearing his wife's dresses to drive cab in a badon. Not even only in the house, in a badon. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section if there's more to these guys. Before we delve right into the details of today's news, if this is your first time here or you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do all subscribe, like this video, leave your opinions as well in the comment section below. Why I wear my wife's dress to drive passengers. Viral Ibado, micro driver. A driver known as Afiz Adedigba, who went viral wearing his wife's dress while driving a popular micro, micro taxi in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, has explained the reasons behind his actions. Adedigba, who was seen in a viral clip wearing his spouse's dress, said it was mainly because the rain drenched his clothes and the only quick fix available to him was the clothes. In an interview with a media personality, Ayo Adams, on Monday, the driver said that when he took the clothes, he explained to his wife that he wanted to use it in his car, and she consented. This is not the only clothes of my wife that I have. They are about to. Ha! And you said you wore it because of rain, because rain drenched your clothes. And then you're saying you have more than one of your wife's dresses that you own and wear. Like, ow, I don't get it. This is not even about rain drenching his clothes. I don't think that is what this is about. Like, like I said at the beginning of this video, there is more to this. And I don't think that this man is ready to even say it. He's not going to say it. This is not the only clothes of my wife that I have. They are about two. The first time I took the dress, it was raining heavily, and all my clothes were dressed. I had no choice but to take hers since I was still interested in working that day. How did your own clothes got drenched and your wife's clothes didn't? Or you were not at home when your clothes got drenched and then you went home and the only thing you thought of was to pick your wife's dress. So why didn't you just use the opportunity to pick up your own shirt instead? <laughs> Guys, this story is not straight to me. Oh. I don't know what you think, but let me know in the comment section. So now, I wear the dress when it rains and put on my when it stops. Ah. <laughs> this is not making sense. So you wear your, your wife's dress when it rains. Why d didn't you just get uh, a tattered clothes or clothes that you wouldn't wear out on a normal day and just wear it when it's raining since you don't want to wear your own shirt when it's raining? Just wear that one. When it stops, you wear your own shirt. Like, I'll make it make sense. I'm not, I'm not understanding this soon. That's why, that's why it is always in my vehicle. While fielding questions on the passenger's comments about seeing him in the dress, Adedigba noted that none of their comments moved him because he only focused on his mission, which is to take appreciable money home and deliver to the owner of a vehicle. It has been quite an age have been driving this Micra, and I only seek God's favor on the job. 
I moved to driving when I couldn't raise funds to start the sales of tires that I lent at a tender age, he said. The driver squelled the rumor that he fought and his clothes were torn, which was why he resorted to wearing his wife's dresses. He also spoke about having only one wife and four children, whom he said were why he strived so hard to meet their demands. You all let me know what you thought her in the comments section. What do you think about this? The man, like he said, he said he's only concerned about, you know, working hard and, you know, taking home money for his family and then delivering for, you know, the car owner. Now, that is all he's, he's interested in at the moment. He's not moved by comments from people. Of course, people will talk because it's weird. It's not something that you find every day. How you know sometimes when you stop a taxi, you don't even look at what the driver is wearing, you don't even have time. Sometimes you even enter a taxi with a family relative, someone you know, or a friend, and then you don't even know that they are the ones sitting beside you until someone is trying to get down, and then you look up and you're like, Wow, so it's you that have been sitting beside me. That happens. Same thing when you enter a taxi, you don't even try to look at what the driver is wearing. So sometimes passengers might have even entered his car before now realizing that ah, you are wearing a woman's dress. Like, how come? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> Him saying that he wears the, his wife's dress when it's raining, it means that it doesn't, this is not a one off thing. This is not something that he just did on, on that particular day and it went viral. It's something that he must have been doing because, you know, you heard well what I read when he said um, he wears it when he rains and this is his daily bread. He doesn't care. But I know that in Ibadan, people must even know him. A lot of people must even know him by now has, you know, the driver that wears a female's uh, dress. To me, personally, I wouldn't enter his car. There is no way, unless I did not look at him well before entering. But now that I know that there's a driver in Ibadan wearing his wife's dresses, I will make sure when I'm, Ibadan, I'm in Ibadan that I look at the driver properly before even entering because I don't know what, what all of his idea is about. I don't know if it's even fetish, but, you know, we got to pr protect ourselves. <laughs> You guys, thank you very much for always listening and watching. This is where I'm going to draw the curtain for now. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.